Welcome back. Now, if you're lucky enough to still be in your PJs this morning, maybe working out what to wear for the day, you might want to listen up because the clothes and even the accessories you choose could be harming your health. From shapewear to shoes, there are some real health risks associated with the items in our closets and our drawers. And physiotherapist Anna Louise Bouvier and Dr Penny Adams joins us now. But we'll start with you, Anna Louise, with the issue of shoes. Good yes. morning to you. Good morning. We know that heels cause issues. Yes. But flats do as well. Yes, absolutely. So the thing with heels is, one of the big issues is when the heels are too high, what happens is to your spine is that because you've got that extra height, you end up having a really sway back. So your and lower back gets completely yeah. put but out. But also it also puts quite a lot of pressure on your knees. With that sway back, you also get problems with your knees. So the big thing is, if you're going to wear heels, also be aware that it shortens your calves. So if you're wearing heels, heels all day, you want to actually do some calf stretches at the end of the day. And better still, try and go with like a slightly thicker heel so, so, so you've got a bit of support. But interestingly, a friend of mine who's a foot physio says, these and ballet flats keep her in business. Because when you are wearing wearing think something that's too flat, your arch actually flattens out and you get a lot of problems in your arch. But also with thongs, you tend to have to grip with your toes so to try you, and wear them. what should you be wearing then? Well, look, you know, if you're going to wear either of these, just don't wear them all the time. Okay. So, you know, something with just a little bit of support. You know, a wedge is really good, especially for summer. Um, so something with just a little bit of height mm. relative to the, to the other end. OK, now we've got some jewellery and accessories here <laughs> and obviously lots Who'd of women thought? can't around massive oh, I handbags. know, and these are so popular this year. This is this is the, the neck, and under here, coming out of here, you've got all these nerves that go down and down to your shoulder. And so this sort of thing is So exactly, instantly, your it's shoulder... right on those nerves. So right we actually down. get a lot of people with elbow pain, neck pain <laughs> and headaches because of these of handbags. Course, of course, and what about big jewellery, though? Because what's wrong with that? <laughs> it's really interesting. This is something that I'm starting to see quite a lot of. And these are absolutely gorgeous, but they're quite they're heavy. heavy. Yep. And so if you put that on here around the nerves of the neck, you tend to find that people start getting headaches wow. um, from wearing sort of really heavy jewellery. So it's the same thing. If you're going to wear it, just don't wear it all the time. And even headpieces too. <laughs> you, I mean, you see people wear them at yeah. the races, but luckily well, people don't walk around with these on every yeah. day. <laughs> Do they? That's exactly no, right. Unless well, you're a yeah, royal exactly. family. Princess things. There you go. Um, so, yeah, a heavy tiara is probably best to be avoided. I'll uh, keep my tiara yeah. packed away then. Perfect. Excellent. Now, Penny, yes. you deal with all sorts of medical issues. Yes. But who'd have thought that you'd <coughs> actually be dealing with issues to do with shapewear? shapewear. So they're like corsets, modern day yes, corsets. They right? are like corsets. And they're not they're not going to cause long term medical problems, but you can't actually breathe so well with the bottom of your lungs when well, you've got, got a corset. We've got our model Karen here yeah, who's and wearing you can see, it. If that if that shapewear is folding over, it means it's it's too tight and and you basically need to get a bigger size. Is it hard to breathe when you're wearing that Karen? Um, it's Makes a little, you stand it's up. A little, yeah, it's a yeah. little restrictive. But the other issue with shapewear is that, and I'm seeing it more and more with um, women after the, they've had babies, they're wearing shapewear which um, and studies have shown that it actually improves their confidence, so psychologically helpful. And if they've had a Caesar, mm. it also... It holds you in. It holds you in, a bit, bit less pain. But you need to be getting to see someone like um, Anna Louise, quick smart, because you're not, working your you're not working your pelvic floor muscles and you're not working your abdominal muscles, and you actually need to start getting those working. Ah. So wear your shapewear um, when you're going out, but go and see Anna Louise for your physio. Yeah, so don't necessarily, as like with the shoes, don't yeah. wear them all day long. Correct. And make sure they fit correctly to begin with. Yeah. And what about the skinny jeans? So all sorts of interesting things in the medical literature about skinny jeans. There's 12 case reports of people actually getting a compartment syndrome in their calf muscles from the, the jeans being too tight and they were doing squatting activities. So and it they, just was... Yeah, it compressed the blood vessels and nerves in their feet. Reversible. The other one is a thing, big name, moralgia parasthetica, where the nerves that come down the side of the thighs get compressed and you get these shooting pains um, into your thighs oh from goodness. tight jeans. And then, of course, we've got issues with the groin. Now, tight jeans don't cause thrush in women, but if you have thrush, they don't help. Right. And they can also cause a bit of abrasion. And I do have a recommendation for our gentlemen viewers, if they're going to wear tight jeans, that they should actually wear undies underneath them. I did see a fellow in accident emergency once who had... <laughs> sorry, guys. Who had come in and had an unfortunate catching of his zip. Ooh. Yep. Mm. He required an anaesthetic to remove oh. that zip. An <laughs> anaesthetic? <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. He actually had cut his jeans off to come in to casualty and had a pair of loose pants over the top. So 
Definitely wear, <laughs> definitely wear your Sorry. undies under your tight jeans. Wow. <laughs> See, this is very, very important advice. So, um, yeah, I guess the, the take-home message is just to be... If it looks and feels uncomfortable, then it's probably yeah. not doing you mm. any any good. No, yeah. no. And we all know, I mean, the moment you get home, you take off yeah, the shape where you kick you? off the shoes. You exactly. Take, yeah, and you, you get take off your tiara <laughs> and exactly drop the right. handbag. That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. All right. It's such a relief. Well, to get. it is good advice and it's worth thinking about because these are everyday items that many, many people use. So, yeah. um, ladies, thank you very much. Thank you. Really Pleasure. good advice. There you go. Important stuff.